YouTubers, Pastor Bob. I hope you guys are all having a blessed weekend. Hey, uh, I want to talk to you today about something that most born-again believers don't want to admit. And that is, sometimes we doubt God. Sometimes we doubt God's promises. And you know, uh, a lot of times, especially almost every video I've ever made, is something that God had to show me. This is something that I need to work on too. And then I turn around and share it with you. I don't think I'm sharing anything with you that doesn't apply to me, because it does. So listen, this is what it says in Luke 11, 9 to 13. And I want you to listen to these words. These are absolute promises of God. It says, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks receives, and he that seeks finds, and to him that knocks it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will he give him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to good, give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father, which is in heaven, give the Holy Spirit to those that ask him? If you know you're saved, however, you still have doubts. Doubts come in your mind that, well, maybe I'm not saved. And sometimes you might think, well, well, what if I think I'm saved and I wind up in hell? People, those are thoughts that everyone gets every once in a while. We just do. Every born-again believer has these thoughts. Non-believers don't have these thoughts. Why should they? The demonic host is, isn't worried about them. They don't want them having those thoughts because they're already theirs. They're already lost. But born-again believers get these thoughts, and these thoughts come in from demonic entities. You can be sure that all these thoughts come from the demonic realm. Now listen, this is something you need to know. Everyone who has ever lived in all of history, right up until this day, anyone who has ever raised up their hand with a pure heart and said, Father, forgive me and save me, you know what, when those hands are raised up, God has never looked down and smacked one of those hands aside and said no. Never. Look at this promise. It says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. For everyone that asks receives, and he that seeks finds. To him that knocks, the door shall be opened. No one has ever raised up a hand to God and had God slap that hand away. Never happened. Remember the thief on the cross? The thief on the cross was down to almost his dying breath. And he looked over at Jesus and he said, Lord Jesus, when you come in your kingdom, will you remember me? That's all he did. He, he was hung up on the cross. He couldn't even raise his hand. But he asked. And the Lord says, today you will be with me in paradise. People, this is what I want you to always remember. Always remember this. Your salvation is never based on the thoughts that pass through your head. The demonic realm is constantly putting thoughts of doubt in your head. That's what they do. Your salvation is not based on you ever doubting God or one of His promises. Your salvation is never based on how you feel. Your feelings have nothing to do with it. Your salvation is based on God's promises. It's not what you feel. It's what you know. Whenever you have thoughts of doubt, whenever you start doubting God's promises, what you say is, you say, you know what? According to God's promises, that thought is a lie. I reject that thought as a lie. And whenever those thoughts start coming into your head, 
you simply say, Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that you will put a hedge of protection around my mind and keep these thoughts from entering into my head because I know they're a lie. And Father, whatever entity is doing this to me, would you please send him into arid and dry places? People, listen. God's promises are sure. That promise is an absolute. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Your salvation is never based on the thoughts that run through your head, and it's never based on how you feel. Your thoughts are based on God's promises. Everyone who asks receives. Him who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it shall be opened. No one has ever raised their hand up to God and had God slap it away. I just want you to remember that. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.